Hello there, this is Bibi Cameron and today I have great news to share. I'm releasing my very first collection in collaboration with Spellbinders and the collection is called Bibi's Butterflies. This release is all about versatility. You will find butterflies that measures one inch up to five by seven inches. And we will have here four new die sets, one stencil and one stamp set. You can mix and match these supplies to create endless compositions, or you can also use them individually without losing versatility. Now let me show you the Butterfly Card Creator. This is a massive butterfly die set that will cut a butterfly that measures five inches by seven inches, and also a layering butterfly that measures one quarter of an inch shorter. This die set also includes other decorative elements like flowers, this small butterfly in a large butterfly body. The next die set I want to show you is so many butterflies die set. This die set will allow you to create C6 butterfly shaped cards or elements for smaller butterfly projects. I will add the sizes of these butterflies on my blog and the link is in the video description. And just to show you a comparison, you can see here next to these butterflies, the butterflies made using the butterfly card creator. So these two die sets alone are going to give you butterflies in every single size you can imagine, from five by seven inches to one inch. So regardless if you like to play with small die cuts or large die cuts, there is something from everyone in this collection. You can also die cut butterfly frames in different sizes and you can die cut different materials as well. I have here a butterfly die cut out of acetate. I love these kind of things to add accents to my cards. And we have designed this collection to coordinate. So you will find many coordinating elements between supplies in the collection. For example, here I want to show you how the pop-up butterfly coordinates with so many butterfly dies it. So basically, this butterfly frame die here is the same size of the intricate detail on the pop-up. So you can use that intricate die to die cut a pattern on the butterfly wings. You can also create different pop-ups and that's something I will show you in another video. So if you use those intricate dies with the frame die there, you will create a butterfly like this one. And if you use a larger butterfly frame, you can create another butterfly like this one here. So those are variations of the die cuts that you can easily achieve by mixing and matching supplies in the collection. You can also do partial die cutting, mixing those dies to easily create a gatefold card like this one. You can do this in different colors and there is different things you can do. I'm going to be sharing the gatefold card ideas in another video. For now, let me show you a very basic pop-up and a few ideas to get creative with this die set. You will find instructions to make this super easy pop-up in my blog today. There is a short video and also printable instructions. And here is just very basic ideas to decorate the pop-up using also die cuts from Delicate Butterflies die set that is this one here. So that's how you can start integrating, mixing and matching these supplies and having some fun. And here I have another sample idea, the same thing in different colors, but this card here features all those elements hanging from the butterfly wings, and this one here has all the elements at the background. Those are very small differences, but it makes a difference in terms of the construction of the cards. I have another card sample here, just using other colors and different elements on the background, so that's an extra idea for you. And you can also use the pop-up butterfly to fully decorate the front panel of your cards. Okay, the next die set in this collection is called Delicate Butterflies, and I already showed you some samples using those small butterflies. So here I'm applying the same idea that I used for the pop-up to make a band to wrap around a little box. This die set includes eight cutting dies, and they are super fun because they are going to cut in late intricate butterflies and also the complete butterflies. So those are the different options you have to create with that die set. But the sky's the limit, to be honest. You can also die cut 
the panels of your projects, something very simple and subtle, or you can go as crazy as you want. I have here a card sample, it's a prototype, and I'm going to be sharing a video about how to make these pop-ups using the delicate butterfly die set. So I have four videos more to share different ideas. And the truth is I have too many little ideas to share. So I'm going to share them in stages, depending on the die set I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be showing you some of these samples at the end of this video. So let me show you here butterfly sentiments, the stamp set, and that includes 14 individual stamps. The three butterfly images in the stamp set coordinate with the three smaller dies from so many butterflies. So you will be able to die cut the butterflies and also the bodies of the butterflies. You can also hit emboss the bodies of the butterflies over the stamped image for a very nice result. Or you can also use die cut bodies like those I have there on those very simple cards over my table. So these are very basic ideas to add a hint of color to those butterflies, I just apply a little bit of Distress Ink here and there, and that was it. I wanted to keep this super simple and easy. So last but not least, we have the Geometric Butterfly Stencil that can be used individually or it can be combined with other dies in the collection. So I have here the dies from so many butterflies die set, and by combining these two, you can apply fun techniques to your cards you can do a stenciling over the die cuts. You can also do a stenciling over vellum to add decorative accents to your cards. And you can also provide a nice finish inside the card. Using dies from so many butterflies die set, you can create different masks. And you can place the stencil over the negative space of those masks to make a smaller stenciled butterflies. So, the sky's the limit. Honestly, I just made this box here to show you an example of that. And in these first samples I'm sharing with you, everything gravitates around the same concept, butterflies and flowers. But we can start mixing also the butterflies with supplies we might have in our stash to do hot foiling over the butterfly wings, stamping over those butterfly wings, or even creating a small die cut scenes within the wings. And we can use the dies in many different ways, also for different kind of craft. So I'm going to play some music and I'm going to try to show you in the most effective way, ideas and inspiration using this collection. This is a mix of some samples made eight months ago and some are new. Make sure to check the links in the video description. I'm going to be creating a Pinterest board sharing all the ideas I can collect online from bloggers, from myself, so you can have plenty of ideas and inspiration to get crafty with Bibi's butterflies. Coming next, you will find a two minute video with instructions to assemble the butterfly pop-up. And in the next couple of days, I'm going to be uploading a video with four ideas to create card bases using the butterfly card creator. At the end of the month, I'm going to be sharing alternative ideas to use Bibi's butterfly collection. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.